Hey guys, John from Shine On here, and today I'm super excited to do a big old launch of a whole bunch of things. So, we at Shine On have been working very hard to help not just bring new things, but also improve existing things for the seller community. And that's a lot about what today is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a little presentation and we're gonna start walking through it. All right, well the first thing I really wanna talk about is some of the things that we've done recently in case you haven't seen everything that's been going on. Um, one of the major releases that we had were the white label custom domains for the Shine On platform. This gives sellers the ability to add as many custom domains as they want to the Shine On platform. Now, the product cart and checkout pages will all use that custom domain throughout the entire customer experience, and we dynamically bring up a logo based off your company name to display on that page. Uh, this is an amazing extra feature. We've gone over it a ton. You will see all the videos all over YouTube. So if you haven't heard about this, please go check out those videos. But I think this has been great. We've been getting tons of submissions for everybody's custom domains and we've been getting them all set up. So I think everyone's really enjoying it. So awesome. Um, so again, we recently launched the custom domain white labeling. Uh, we also launched the Devil Hearts necklace in front of Valentine's Day and it had great Valentine's Day sales. Uh, earlier in the year, we, uh, uh, we launched the buyer upload message card products giving an extra layer of customization and personalization to those products, making them easily one of the most marketable products out there. Uh, we also introduced the earring upsell on the platform. This is a post-purchase upsell that we're offering on all platform orders to try and raise the AOVs. And like I said, we're keeping $5 and giving you 10. So it's just extra money in your pockets and you do nothing to, you don't have to do anything to get it. Uh, and then we also launched the free shipping for the platform. Another great feature that allows you to really mix up how you're doing marketing and how you're closing your customers to, to get them across the finish line and get sales. So I think all of these updates have been amazing and I think everyone's been super receptive to them. All right, now let's talk about what's new today and let's jump into our first slide here. Shopify app upsells. Yes, you read that and you heard that correctly. These are post-purchase upsells for Shopify app users. What's awesome is I'm not just bringing you the clear cubic zirconia earrings. I'm also bringing you these new red cubic zirconia earrings and these are exclusive for our app sellers. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've vetted out two post-purchase apps. You have the Zipify one-click upsell and Carthook post-purchase upsell apps. Um, I have vetted these because the order has to come through correctly, otherwise we will reject it. Um, we are not collecting standalone orders for just the earrings, so they have to be connected with a previous order these two apps do it correctly. There are other post-purchase apps that create a like two orders. So it'll be the original purchase and then the upsell purchase as two separate orders. We, we won't be collecting those. If you do it that way, we won't collect it. It needs to add, it needs to take your original order and add the earring to it with one order number. Otherwise it won't work. So like I said, I have vetted out these two. I know they work. So. Uh, I recommend using them. And when you watch my videos that are being posted on YouTube about how to do this, I will um, I talk about why, and then I also have explainer videos on each app on exactly how to set it up to work correctly. Um, so again, you have two upsells here, the clear six millimeter cubic zirconia earring and the red six millimeter cubic zirconia earring. Um, these are going to be created in post-purchase funnels. And then, like I said, the upsell order must contain the corresponding main product to attach it to the order. Um, and, and one thing that's what I, I think is that you guys will really like about this is you now have you, you have more control than our platform sellers do on how these work. 
You're going to be able to set the pricing. You're going to be able to create the design of the upsell. You can choose which images to show and all that. So you guys can get really creative, uh, create your own graphics if you want. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do with this. Um, it's going to raise your AOVs. It's going to raise your margins. It's going to give you more money to play with with ads. I highly recommend going through and putting this on all of your Shine On products that you have in your stores. All right, so that covers Shopify app post purchase upsells. I know you guys, uh, I know you guys are excited, but don't go running away to start working on this because I, I have more in the video. So let's go ahead and jump into our next slide. The new creative asset portal. Um, again, I have taken what used to exist, which we use Zoho Drive, and there were a bunch of these links. It was super hard to navigate, find the assets that you were looking for. Um, find the PSDs, it was just, it was all over the place. It wasn't easy, it wasn't intuitive, and it made your job as marketers harder. And that didn't work for me. I can't have you guys working really hard for things like that. Those, a lot of this stuff should be easy. So we have gone ahead and created this new Shine On Creative Asset Portal. This is an amazing portal. Um, the, the link is here. Uh, also, all the links on all, when you go to create products and all that, those have all been switched. So they no longer go to Zoho. They're now coming to uh, our new asset portal. So um, all of that's changed. So you'll be able to find this easily. If you don't know where to look, go to pages.shineon.com and look for the creative asset portal. Uh, that link will take you right to the main homepage here. Um, what we've done is we've taken all of our assets and we've broken them up into four main categories. You have template files. These are things like how to do the graphic designs, where everything lays out on message cards, all of those types of files. We have product photos, which are exactly what you would think they are. These are photos of our products, all types of photos. We also have product videos. These are all sorts of different types of videos. A lot of the raw videos and things like that are in here. And then we also have message card designs. Um, and that is what I just said it is. It's message card designs. There's a lot of PSDs in there that you can go in and take the design and edit it to better fit what you're doing. There's also just PNGs if you just want to download and go. Um, that being said, now that we have this new portal um, that makes it easier for everything to, to be found, the big goal of Shine On is to literally give you so many creative assets you don't know what to do with all of them. We have gone ahead and brought in full-time photography and everything into the building so that we can just be filling these, these folders with photos and videos and designs and all of that so you have more than you know what to do with at the tip of your fingers. Now, what I do want to say and, and what makes such a big difference compared to the old system is everything's viewable in a nice gallery view, even PSDs, so you can see what the PSD is. The other thing is it's searchable. You see that big search bar. You can go into that search bar and you can type in love knot and literally you will be shown every asset that exists for the love knot product. It's great. Um, you can also go in there and type in like Valentine's Day and see all like the message cards for Valentine's Day. So there's a lot that you can do here. And again, everything is simpler, more intuitive, and right at your fingertips. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next slide. All right, so the graphic cross is relaunching. That's right. Uh, this is a classic Shine On product that went away almost exactly a year ago, and we are bringing it back. This was one of our top sellers for years. It's a great product, and we are excited to bring it back for you. We've worked out a bunch of kinks with this product so that the quality and everything else is top notch, and it is ready to be sold. So, as you can see here, the Graphic Cross, it actually has three, what I like to call three levels of personalization. There is the seller personalization, which is the graphic that goes on the front. 
There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Uh, it's an interesting shape, uh, but with the right design eye and, and design, I think it looks really, really cool. And it's one of those shapes that other people aren't, you, there's no one else out there doing something similar to this. Um, I think we're in perfect timing to launch this for Easter, for Mother's Day, for christenings, for graduations, all of that. This is a great product for that. So one of the main things you need to know is this is actually two products. There is a snake chain version that comes in both the gold and the stainless. There's also a ball chain version that comes in the gold and stainless. I think the snake chain has a much more female look to it. The ball chain has a much more masculine male feel to it. So all depending on who you're choosing to um, target is what product you might want to create. So again, in the catalog, you're going to see two separate two separate products, the ball chain and the uh, snake chain. So look for those. Make sure you're publishing the right one. The other thing is there are two spots for engraving for your customer. As you can see from this picture, there are two initials that can go. Uh, I shouldn't say initials. Technically, they can be anything. You put XO if you want to put there. Um, but there's a spot for two letters to be put at the bottom of this cross. And then on the back is a space for up to 20 characters to be engraved across the back. Uh, really great for some engraving upsells, if you know what I mean. So like I said, this is an existing product. And the reason we were so keen to bring it back was because it had one of the highest average order values of all of our products with the built-in extra personalization and all of that, it really allows you to list this product at a higher level and bring in higher sale prices. So I highly recommend not just pricing this super low, price it high. I think you can easily, you know, with engravings and stuff, be in the $70, $80, even higher range. So, so definitely look into that. Now, the last thing I want to share with you guys today is um, something that I'm really passionate about. Um, you know, here at Shine On, I'm involved a lot with new products and things like that. And while I might have, you know, what I would consider the best ideas that have ever existed, it turns out that other people can have ideas too. And uh, it turns out you guys have lots of really, really good ideas. And I want you to share those ideas with me. So we have a new product idea form. Tell us what you want to sell. Um, this You can find this on pages.shineon.com. Um, there's a submit a product idea link. If you click that, it'll take you to a form that you can fill out and it will send the results straight to me. Um, and so to tell you a little bit about what I look for when I'm looking for products. I am looking for high value products. I don't want to bring you guys, you know, $15 sale prices. That's a hard margins to deal with. We really like that 40, 50, 60, even higher price, uh, sale values. So, so think about that. That, you know, we've all seen mugs. They sell for 10, 15, maybe even $20. Um, shine on products, 40, 50, 60. So, so remember that. Also, on that note, we, we prefer to be a trendsetter. We don't want you to just go, hey, this other company is doing this. They're already doing it. Uh, we like to do something more. We might take that idea and improve upon it. We might take that idea and create a premium version of it. Or we might say, that idea is washed out. We're going to go find something new. We really like the idea of finding things that no one else is doing. We like to be innovative and we like to disrupt the POD market and bring stuff no one's ever seen before. The other thing is examples. While I love trying to read through you guys describing these products, a lot of times a lot is lost in that translation. I highly recommend if you can give me some sort of link or anything so I can see an existing kind of example of this style of product. It makes my life a lot easier so I can go look at manufacturing methods and things like that and, and how we can source it. So remember that, uh, high value products, 
trend-setting products, something new people haven't seen, and give me examples so I can really dig into it. Um, I will be reviewing all of these entries on a weekly basis, and you guys will start seeing movement and new products coming very soon. So I'm super excited. Please submit your ideas so that we can go and start looking at it. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's launch of all sorts of new and revamped things that Shine On is doing. I'm really excited for all of this new stuff to come. We've got a lot more planned for all of our Shine On sellers, both app and platform. And so we're super excited to start rolling a lot of these things out to you. We want you guys to be getting new things all the time. And so that's one of our big goals. But anyway, thanks for joining and happy selling.